tell you, there's nothing better than celebrating a chance to go to the postseason. It's taken 11 seasons, and the Phillies certainly soaked it in, and they certainly soaked Rob Thompson and everybody else that was in the clubhouse. Nobody has ever come directly off Tommy John surgery to win a Cy Young that first year back. We didn't know what to expect early in the season from Justin Verlander, but he delivered early. Yeah, it's pretty amazing that he can be the comeback player of the year and also win that Cy Young like TK's talking about. Swing and a miss. Good slider gets Harper in. The first breaking ball Verlander throws, and there is one away. Gets a swing over the top from a pretty good hitter in Bryce Harper. Great way to start the game for Justin. Now tip caught by Maldonado. JV off and running in his final start of the season. Starts the inning and ends the inning with a strikeout. Yeah, first time that Major Suarez is getting to face the Houston Astros. They went 0 for 2 yesterday before being taken out of the game. And there's a base hit down the left field line. Jose Altuve starts the game with a ball just bare inside the bag and a double to lead things off for the Astros. Altuve with double number 38 on the year. 251 average, 287 on base percentage, 21 homers, 61 RBIs for Pena. 2-0. And Pena drives this pretty deep to left center field. Marsh on his horse, still going back at the wall, looking up, see you later! Jeremy Pena's 22nd home run of the year is a two-run shot. Two-nothing Astros. And what a blast that was. Almost off the Phillips 66 pump in left center field. Right into home run alley for a two-pointer. Here is your non-batting with 37 home runs. He sends one to left field. That's got a chance, and that one's off the top of the wall. Jordan will head into second with a double. The Astros jumping on Ranger Suarez early. Jordan doubles on the first pitch he sees. Here's Kyle Tucker. 2-0. And Tucker belts it deep down the right field line. Ball is hooking. If it stays fair, it's gone. And it is gone. Three-run jack for Kyle Tucker. Number 30 for number 30. And the Astros' lead is 5 to nothing. Just the second Houston outfielder with back-to-back -back seasons of 30 home runs joins Lance Berkman, who did it in 01 and 02. Great company for Kyle Tucker. Well, Philly's down five to nothing. We start the second, and it'll be Brandon Marsh. Swing and a miss. Got him on the slider, and that is Justin Verlander's third strikeout out of four batters face tonight. One away. Swing and a miss and a changeup away. Good pitch by Verlander to get Stott. And Verlander has struck out four to move into a tie for 13th all-time with Fergie Jenkins in strikeouts, 3,192. Boy, some good pitches, too. That changeup right off that outside corner fading. And he gets the strike, a strikeout. Baton thought he held up. JV with strikeout number five in the game. And now tied for 12th all-time, 3,193 strikeouts. Maldonado leads off in the second. That usually means things went well in the first. And Maldonado hits it well and deep to left field. Veerling will turn around and see you later. Third home run of the game for the Astros and Maldonado's 15th of the year. It is six to nothing, Houston. Boy, it's Padger stats day in the early going for the Astros. First time through, 106 off the bat for Maldonado, 393 feet. Matt Beerling leads things off. 6-0 Astros as we go to the third. And he is now number 12 by himself. Strikeout number 6. 31-94 in his career as Verlander strikes out Beerling. He's been all over the edges with movement, velocity. Here's the 1-2. And that is strike three. Slider right on the corner. Guthrie not so sure, but Dan Bellino rings him up, and that's the seventh strikeout for Verlander in his first eight batters. That is a cold third strike. Verlander has struck out eight of the first nine. Facing the top of the order, Bryce Harper here to start the fourth inning. Oh, give it to him. Eight in a row. Ties a franchise record. Eight consecutive strikeouts for Verlander. And that's a ground ball to the shortstop, Pena. Pena with a good throw to first base, two away. So that runs that street. But eight in a row retired on strikes by Verlander. That was awesome. There's a ball on a line right to Alex Bregman, the only guy on the left side of the infield. Justin Verlander rolling along, has retired all 12, with nine of them being strikeouts. This inning, I have to say, he does not look as sharp as he, as he was in the first four innings. Swing and a miss. There's another one. On the slider, 
10 strikeouts for Verlander, his fourth start this year, double figure strikeouts on the season. And now he ties Bob Gibson in another category. Most 10 strikeout games, Verlander tying Bob Gibson with his 10 strikeout tonight. Ground ball towards short. Pena will go to Altuve. And just ahead of the slide by Brandon Marsh to end the inning. Justin Verlander through five innings has allowed one base runner, a leadoff walk to Brandon Marsh in that inning. Christian Vasquez batting for Maldonado. He did the same thing yesterday, replaced Maldonado after McCullers came out. There is a base hit with the runners on the move. That'll give Christian Vasquez an RBI. 7 nothing game as the throw comes home. Yuli Gurriel crosses the plate. Vasquez a pinch hit single, driving in a run. Good for Christian Vasquez. Good to come in, get an opportunity with runners in scoring position, and he takes advantage of it. Dubon gets his first at bat. The 0-1. Ground ball up the middle, and that's going to squirt through for a base hit. Around third and scoring easily is McCormick. An RBI single for the pinch hitter Dubon, and the Astros' lead grows to 8-0. Ground ball just out of the reach of the diving shortstop, Bryson Stott. Taken over for Altuve. The leadoff spot now has four knocks. Now it's Alex Bregman's turn. He is 0 for 3 with a walk and a run scored. Now Bregman into left center field. That'll drop. Jordan had a great read, but he's going to have to hold up. As right now, the Astros not trying to pile it on. It's 9 nothing. Bregman drives in his 93rd run of the year. So the hits keep on coming for the Astros. Runners at the corners for Jake Myers, who singled in the six in his first plate appearance of the night. And Jake will make it four in a row. Ten to nothing. Astros hit number 17. Jake Myers a two for two night off the bench. Pick up the RBI. Astros getting real greedy in this ball game. Well, we go to the top of the ninth inning. The Phillies down 10 nothing, but they also have no hits tonight. Will Smith is the fourth pitcher for the Astros. Left-hander, a 4.03 ERA in 64 games, 58 innings, 55 hits, 25 walks, 62 strikeouts. Garrett Stubbs stands in. That one's looped out towards center field. That's a base hit for Garrett Stubbs. There will be no no-hitter tonight here in Houston. I love it. And Stubbs with a smile on his face and a tip of the helmet, and his family could not be happier. 3-2 to stop. Swing and a miss. Struck about on the slider, and that is the ball game. Houston Astros no hit the Phillies for the first eight innings and pick up a shutout victory for their 105th win of the year. Defeating the Phillies tonight by a final of 10 to nothing. 16 strikeouts for Astros pitchers and Verlander's the one that capped it off.